Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today I've got some really exciting news. We are going to take this DJI RC Pro Enterprise for the Mavic 3T and make it compatible or make it work with the Mavic 3 Pro. And li likewise, or like vice versa, if you have a DJI RC Pro that you got with your Mavic 3 Pro or other drone, you can now load the software on it so that it can take a Mavic 3 or Mavic 3 Enterprise. So essentially you are changing the, Mavic, the DJI RC Pro to a DJI Enterprise Pro. So in this case, I'm going to turn on the controller just to show you guys the, how it looks like. And then I'm also at the same time going to jump over to Google, just type in drone space hacks and the top one you're going to find will be the DroneX website. And if I click on it over there, you are going to go straight to the DroneX website. Now the DroneX website is quite um, overwhelming if you go there first but if you just take a step back you'll see that it's incredibly easy this is the place where we're going to go remove our no-fly zones if we've got a, a drone that we want to mod we remove our altitude limits or we can enable fcc mode or change some parameters for free on our drone as well now fcc mode is amazing if you're not in the fcc country typically like the us you guys are lucky you guys have fcc mode meaning your range is about three times the output that we've got in our countries so in some cases your range can increase by like almost five times which is amazing but for our benefit we are always going to jump over straight to the available hacks web page or link and here is going to show you everything that's currently supported in this case you guys can see there's a bunch of new drones that are currently supported and on this list our DJI RC Pro is currently not listed but that is because it will be released very very soon but just in general, you'll always come to the available hacks page to see what is available. So let's just take a look at the enterprise thermal. If I click on over here, it's a $300 license. It is going to remove all of the limits, meaning that's for search and rescue stuff like that. You don't have to worry about anything like that. But let's just quickly go back, sorry, to uh, this Mavic 3 Classic. And you'll see that they're significantly cheaper at 50 euros. So there's a bunch of things like that that you guys can take a look at. By our purpose, you are going to check if your drone is compatible. Then you will go to the download page where you will download the application. In this case, download drone is free. And you can see clearly that we have support on two different versions. If you are on these drones over here, you will be using the DroneX version 4. If you are on the older drones, like the Mavic 2, A2S, those kind of drones, then you'll be using DroneX version 1. In our case, we want to use DroneX version 2. So I'll just click on that, and it's going to take me to the download link, and it's going to start downloading. Luckily, I've already downloaded the file, and I'm just going to go and install the file on my machine as well. As you can see, there's the DroneX version. There might be a small increase in version when you get this. The higher the version number, the better for you. So. Without anything else, as you can see, yes, my controller is currently in a DJI Enterprise mode. I can go back and you can see on the controller, let me just get up to the screen, that I've got my DJI Pilot over there and I've got a bunch of other apps over here available. But currently, this is the Enterprise version of the controller. If I flip it over, you'll be able to see that it is the model RM. 510B. I'm not sure if you guys can see on the camera, but effectively that'll be your DJI RC Pro, but the enterprise version. So let's just quickly jump over so we can load the correct software on it. And I'm going to run the application. So if you've downloaded the application, you're simply just going to double click it and install it on your machine like you would any other software. Let's drag it over. As you guys can see, here it is. Simply all you need to do is click next, next install if you already have drone eggs on your machine i would recommend that you uninstall it first and then install this version and there we go once it's finished installing you can just click finish and launch the application this gets me to my second point though if you purchase the license you'll need to log in to the application if you do not, or if you've not purchased a license, you probably have to create an account first. So simply just go to the sign up page, follow the steps one by one, and then you can go through. I'm just going to quickly log in and then move on. So as you can see on the new DroneX version, you're going to see there's now the drone and there's a controller. If you want to up, um, well, up, if you want to unlock your drone, simply click on the drone one, connect your drone to the computer, link the license that you've purchased in the app if you haven't purchased a license yet there will be a link in the app 
but we're going to go through the whole process of showing you the controller i've got lots of other videos on my channel that shows you how to unlock your drone so please just go take a look at those there'll be a, a card in the top right as well so clicking on the controller you're going to say it shows a waiting connection currently nothing's going on okay so let's just take the cable and stick it into the bottom of the controller and you can just see that it's automatically going to pop up and detect the controller now it sees our DJI RC Pro Enterprise with the firmware version, everything is on there. So over here, I'm going to quickly jump over to the license management section. And over here, you can see that I am currently have a license on my account that I've already purchased and I can link it to my account. If I did not have a license on my account, then there would be an option over here for me to purchase it and I could go to the website as well. The easiest way to do it will obviously be to go to the DroneX website first, go to Available Hacks, select the option that you want, purchase the license, and then only open up the application because then the license will already be here. In this case, the controller is in front of me. I'm going to click Register, meaning that I am now linking the license to this controller. I cannot remove the license and put it somewhere else. I'm linking to the serial number of this controller. It's a one-time thing. Please do note. Now I'm going to click confirm to link the license to this controller and you're going to see that now there's a modifications tab that just got opened. If I click on the modifications tab, my option to install dual mode is now available. This is pretty awesome because like I said, I will be able to use this controller with both a Mavic 3 series drone or a Mini 4 or those drones, sorry, Mini 3 drone and then and not the Mini 4, and then the Enterprise series as well. This is great for those of you that don't want to use or put hours on your expensive drone and in certain jobs you just want to fly a cheaper drone as well. In this case, I'm going to go click Apply Modification and the software will do the rest. As you guys can see, I've literally logged into the website, purchased the license, opened up the application and linked the license and clicked Modifications. That's it. I've not done anything else and the software will now download the firmware and it will install it and do everything for me. Once this process is done, let's just follow up and see what happens then. So once the reboot has finished, you're going to see that it is going to load the drone hacks page. That is how you know everything's well. So just press the back button twice, uh, quickly, <laughs> and then you'll be able to see the drone hacks menu. So your background has been changed, a few other, other apps have been installed, and you can see which version you're in. Currently we have the enterprise version, and it's also quite nice because you can easily see which mode you're in. So if you want to switch, you just press the one, and you're going to switch over to the other mode. Excuse the fan of the controller, it's just normal. But now we're going to switch over to the normal DJI Fly app version, and the app is just going to quickly restart. So let's just give it a second. And once it's booted up, you're going to see that it's automatically going to open up the DJI Fly app this time. So it's very easy to know which mode you're in, obviously, to see which app you're in. So it's as simple as that guys the dronex guys have once again done an amazing job here and it's so easy to work with if you want to go back you just go back tap on the icon and then you tap on the enterprise icon again the fan spins up again and the controller restarts and that's how simple and easy it is to switch between modes like i said the guys from dronex did an amazing job now we have one controller to rule them all so especially for those guys that maybe want to use a mini 3 to do a basic scouting job and not fly their expensive drone yes this is probably one of the best options you can do for that because you don't have to put some cycles on some expensive batteries to go back to normal original modes or stock essentially just plug into DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones or Enterprise whichever one you want and then you'll see your firmware or your drone now remember if you are in Enterprise mode you'll need the Enterprise version if you are in normal mode you just can use normal mode but the Enterprise one is the one that I would use just because it covers both options it will detect the RC Pro as well as the other one you can just go in select the firmware version I, su I suggest the latest version then you can just update to the latest version and basically return 
return back to factory settings. Now it's not going to remove the Dronax background and stuff like that. It is just redoing the software so you do know that you are on original DJI software but the customization of the controller will still remain the same. If you want to go back to complete stock you can also go on the controller itself. You can just swipe down, select settings, scroll all the way down and go to the reset option. As you can see over there, you can simply tap reset and it's as simple as that. Thank you guys, see you in the next one.